Welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Gruul midrange. As you all know, this has been my favorite deck so far of the format, or the one that I've had maybe the most success with so far in this new format because it's just so aggressive. As you may, t may be able to tell here, we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're changing a few cards, um, and I'm not exactly sure if these are going to be good changes. We may be changing back. So the big thing is I'm taking out the two Pelt Collectors. No, that's Pelt Collector. Paradise Druid. That's what the card's called. The two Paradise Druids that we had in the main deck. I'm not sure if I like taking them out because I've done a lot with the Paradise Druids, but um, a, a good friend of mine, Mike Villavicencio, has also been playing this deck a lot and been doing a lot of winning, and uh, we've been talking about the deck, and he says that he just never never uses uh, the Paradise Druids ever. doesn't think that they're necessary. I'm a little worried about our two, you know, like this slots before three though with it but we'll see how it works out so instead we are adding in a 24th land uh right because it's had 23 before yeah so we so with replacing them we took out one of them for another land and then the other one's going to be my kiora here uh where kiora kiora can really do a ton in this deck um i tried out two kioras the last time we played this on stream even though i it wasn't for recorded for youtube that i played it like after some other decks and i really liked the kiora um, but Mike's really liking like the Rhythm of the Wilds and the Chandra, so I'm, I'm going to keep those in um, and only play the one Kiora. But Kiora draws a card every time we play a Spellbreaker or Phoenix or Ilrog, Ronus, Ravager Worm. You know, it's a lot of cards that draw cards. Um, it does help ramp and it helps fix our mana. You know, we can untap our other red source with Kiora or, you know, like help ramp into like these bigger things. Um, and then also being able to untap your creatures after they attack. You know, I really like have, being able to like, basically, Cure works so well through Kindling Phoenix, how you can attack with Phoenix and then untap your Phoenix so it can be back on defense for you. And if, like, the, your Phoenix dies um, and then it comes back from the graveyard, it's entering the battlefield again, so you get to draw a card again with Kiora. Just works really well with that card. Um, the gods are, like, kind of weird. It's, like, it's like seems like they may be, like, a little unnecessary, but they just like win the games like whenever you play them kind of thing and like attack with like Ilharg like it's just so much damage the Ilharg deals and like kind of same with Ronus so we got him in here so let's give it a try uh with without the um without those paradise druids we'll see if we like really miss them um it's possible that we only need one rhythm of the wild not two it's possible we don't need Chandra you know it's, let's try some stuff out Besides that, sideboard-wise, getting rid of the Carnage Tyrant. The Carnage Tyrant's not really necessary. You just It's basically only for Esper, and you just don't really even need it against Esper. So Carnage Tyrant's out of there. Um, putting in another Crushing Cannon, because I don't know if you all have seen these Nexus decks. They're really good. and um, So getting another thing, because I don't think Force Cinder Vines is enough. Like That's what we kind of term. Force Cinder Vines is probably not enough. So we're getting a Crushing Canopy in there also. And then I'm also replacing... Uh, the Shivan Fires for Brontodons, where Brontodon's still good against aggro like Shivan Fire is, but Brontodon can also destroy Wilderness Reclamations, because I don't know if you if y'all have seen that deck. It's really good. So getting in more hate for it. Um, mana base, <laughs> unfortunately Mike just hates hate hated the, the Gruel Guild Gate. So I was like, fine, we could take out the Gruel Guild Gate. So since we're taking out the Gruel Guild Gate and adding in a land, so we just added a forest and a mountain, so we went up up one on each of the uh, basics there. All right, so let's let's give this a try. We'll see if these are good changes or not. We're playing five matches here. Um, that's what we got time for right now. So we're gonna play five matches. See what our record is after the five. We have not tried a, a feather deck yet. No. If anybody has like a feather deck that they really really like that they've been having good success with, go ahead. Feel free to send it my way. Uh, we do out of like the donation decks that I have to get to, uh, which is not very many right now, but there's uh, like a little less than five, maybe, like maybe like four of them or so, three or four of them. Um, one of them is a feather deck, and I don't really know how to make feather good yet. I haven't. I haven't seen anything with Feather that I've been too impressed with. Hey. Come on. Move. Get back over here, Hawkeye, so I can actually get to the mouse. Come on. It's protecting this mouse. 
Come on. Where are you going? There you go. Thank you. Good boy. So Jeskai Feather is the most viable version, and it's still not very viable. That's what somebody said there. Uh, yeah, the this this Nexus deck has gotten much much more oppressive since War of the Spark. Yes, it is. It is really really good. I guess I'm playing Rhythm of the Wild here. Yeah. Let's go Kiora. Bet you've never been hugged Untap. by a Kraken before. I love to Growth make Chamber a Guardian. Don't really see us winning this. Maybe Wow, another reclamation is the worst card they have in their hand. The ocean surges. Maybe we can have Ravager Worm eat an Ascanta after Ascanta flips. Um, it is an honor to meet you to the library. Yeah, you could send me a whisper on here, Mosca. If you don't know how to send a whisper. There you go. Click on my username there in chat, and then there's an option for whisper. There should be. Just gets rid of all the cards. My notes helpful. Hey, good job. Can't think you trying that Demir deck and you already went from platinum four to platinum two already. Very good. Alright, so Harpooners, Canopy, Brontodon, Cinder Vines. Just trying to be a lot faster.
This is 62. All right, here we go. No, Tamiya's ability is not drawing, no. Oh, I forgot to take out Lava Coil, whoops. Felt like I was taking out a little bit more than usual. We didn't get any of our seven disenchants. That's kind of bad for us. Hey, there's one. I don't think I need to kill the Ascanta. I think it's, you know, Reclamation is the one that we need to kill. Harpooner is a 3 2, and Growth Chamber Guardian is a 2 2, so I played Harpooner. It's 3 power instead of 2 power. If we would have played the 2 2, we would not have. Well, I mean, I guess we would have lethal, but not with sacri sacrificing uh, Brontodon this turn. Hey, Phoenix. Thank you for that sub there. I really don't want Cinder Vines getting countered, right? So... Play that thing. Hawkeye's off my lap now. All right, so that's sub number 18. Hmm. Maybe they didn't actually have that counter spell there. A lot of mana. Hopefully no card draw. There's still two permanents away from Arch of Araska. Ugh, that's card draw. So attacking with all because if they have a bounce spell on Phoenix, I still want to have lethal.
I'm pretty sure they meant to target cinder vines. I think. We're just going to keep Cinder Vines out. Basically not letting them draw the extra card. With this. But. It's definitely not over. Now it's over. All right, we get those out. I mean, Ravager Worm just costs so much, but it is really good in this matchup. Because they have a whole lot of lands the Ravager Worm destroys. And it has haste. I think I wanted over these other things. I think the other option is Domri. So would I rather have Domri or Ravager Worm? Maybe Domri. Six is just a lot, but it's like good to have on the top end as we see like those games, like those last couple games, like we like that game, like we had six for like a little while. You know, like we we play all the other stuff. I don't know, I kinda want the Ravager Worms. Oh, Vivian's good that you know, Vivian destroys something, Ravager Worm destroys stuff something. I don't think the anthem matters too much with Domri. Um, with it just, you know, like them having the fogs and stuff by that point. Oh, that's an easy mulligan. Not looking good. naturalize with graveyard mode I think you really need like if like Phoenix becomes like a really big thing or like you really want that graveyard mode then that card could see some play all right so we know the growth chamber or the sp spellbreakers aren't getting countered
this is why their deck is so good. You have to just like have like such a fast clock against like their other stuff. And they can just you know play by Genikus. And I'm dead. Maybe I should just be keeping in the two the two lava coils. Or just play like the Domries, because Domri can fight instead of Rhythm. Paradise Druid would make this hand pretty good. Kiora does not make this hand great. I don't know. I think we can keep. I mean, one more land, then Domri and Kiora start adding mana for these other things. And the Rhythm Ilrog Ronis is just a combo that is pretty tough to beat. All right, Storm, good night. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. But play rhythm, they just get to bounce rhythm. Well, now they don't get to bounce rhythm. Making this up as I go. It kind of seems like it. What? My hair is on fire? This is just going to be bad for you. Perfect. All right, Chandra, start hitting us more cards. I'll protect you. Let's light it up. Ilharg. One white source so far. This might be a bad idea. <laughs> My army will envelop this world and reduce the battle to shambles. How do I beat Liliana? What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning! Kraken, Leviathans, Octopuses, Serpents, oh, I love them all. One drop ripples and grows. Well, at least Arena's working a lot better for us since we moved this to 1080p. It's not nearly as laggy. That's good. <laughs> yeah, the boar is a god. Boar god. Don't worry, I got this. Do you? Pretty sure Liliana's the one that has it. I don't think you got anything. 
You got a big bag of nothing over there. Good mindless minion. Sorry I'm late. I'm not ready for this quite yet. So Pell Collector needs three. Okay, okay. So I guess I kill Liliana. And get Phoenix in play. No, I should probably get the Razeborn in play. Kill Liliana. No oh, defeat. What a drag. Keep up the pace. Trust me, I have a plan. No. Are you kidding me? I require servants. Your Ugh. corpse will volunteer. From battle to Come on. grave. Jeez. No, there's no Sarkins. Gosh, the first Liliana was already hard enough to try to beat. There's just a second one. What is this? You and I are gonna take them out. There's no problem fire can't solve. Nature flows with vigor. Let's try this. Hold that thought. They still only have one white source, so they're sitting on like Kaya's rats and stuff. Smelly, but effective. Six cards in hand. Jeez. I guess I need to kill the Teferi, not the Liliana, because they had another Liliana, but that was a lot better chance they had another Teferi. So Liliana is such a problem. We can't get can't get through it. Sit back and watch it burn. Yeah, I had I like yeah, I've tried arc the arc bow. I liked like Let's the, skip to the good part. just the regular Vivian Planeswalker more, so I've Vivian Planeswalker in the sideboard. <laughs> good help is easy to find in war. I've got it. 
yeah, we definitely lose. Like, the first Liliana was tough to beat. Once they played the second Liliana, this was over. Yeah, because if you draw... So, Papadoc, if you draw a first card of a turn that's not in your draw step, then it doesn't need to be in the draw phase. Like, if you draw a card on your opponent's turn, then that's the first card you draw that turn. There's no problem fire can't solve. Hey, what's up, Night Owl? Thanks for the uh, tier one sub yet again. You're amazing. Saying go Bruins, I'm saying go Stars. Well, the Stars tied it up 2 2 with the Blues in their series. Definitely get Chandra's, Vivian's, no lava coil. Liliana is going to be tough. No, we need we need real threats. We can't just play Cinder Vines. If we just play Cinder Vines, they can just answer all of our like real threats and have the Planeswalkers win. Cinder Vines aren't going to get it done. Rhythm's just so tough against the new Teferi. Getting to bounce it and everything. Take a one pot collector. Center vines is for Nexus. Of course, it's for Wilderness Reclamation. Oh, Mike, we lost to Wilderness Reclamation. Game three, we mulled to five, and they just played a Biogenic Ooze after like some bounce spells. You know, they were just like gross spiral, bounce spell, Biogenic Ooze, and I was dead. And it looks like I'm at a... I don't know. We'll see how we do here. That last hand, we really missed not having the Paradise Druid on turn two. That last game. I think we're going to have to put Paradise Druids back in here. Because we, no, we had no turn two play. And then they played Teferi and just like minus and drew a card. I couldn't like pressure that. To fairy or anything. Ooh.
Well, let's see if they have a sweeper. If they don't have a sweeper, they're dead. Like, they just don't, like, really do anything here. Well, and if we draw a land, we can, like, Ronus. Alright. Let's see if we Ronus. Ooh. That would've been nice. All right, do we draw land? Do I think Ugin's gonna find a spot as the least a one of in most of, if not all, control decks? No, I don't believe so. I don't think it's good enough compared to other things, like the other cards like Liliana that you could play. Sorry, I'm late. All right, draw land, please. Good, they did not bounce rhythm. They didn't bounce rhythm. Draw lands. Oh, I've we done got combo. the hero thing before. Combo. Ugh. Hmm. So that to just. Chump both the three threes. Or I guess block like that. Good. Now Pulp Collector has trample, of course. Here we go. All right, can we draw our fifth land? Come on, land. Hooray, we did it. Finally. So their plan is hostage takers, huh? Does that mean I'm supposed to be playing Lava Coil? I don't think so. We had two Domries that can fight. We have the two Ravager Worms that can fight. And they probably have just two hostage takers. All right, we'll see if they switch anything. <laughs> Jeez. 
What do y'all think here? Just gonna keep. We don't have a ton of things in our deck to do on turn two. Turn one or two. So even if we mulligan, it's not like super likely that we find something. I don't want. I wouldn't say we necessarily lose to Thought Rager with this hand because with having these lands, we get to play off the tops. So, you know, we just gotta draw some fire off the top at the right time. Obviously, drawing the two lands doesn't really help, but you know, like on, we can draw our, a three drop on turn three, draw Chandra on turn four, draw Vivian on turn five, kind of thing. Hey, what's up, Kazunado? Sub number 20 on the day. Getting us to our next goal. Time to start drawing fire off the top. Fire off the top. Dang it, I didn't get to charge up the sleeves. Hey, what's up, Brace? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Enjoy all those 22 really cool emotes. Warrior Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Rise! <laughs> light up, light him up. Liliana's just so hard to beat. Not, want not. Opponent smart playing Liliana. Smart opponent. Card's great. Especially against me. No. Come on, I just drew the perfect card. No, why do you have to have a counter spell? I just drew the perfect card. Ugh. Oh, it's too, too smart, too thin, too good looking. This looks like a fun. Just have the counter toy. when they need it. Have the Liliana. I can't handle that. Kept a risky hand of needing to draw gas with the five lands, and we just drew four more lands. It's not. We had one draw step there that was the perfect draw step, but opponent had the answer. I'll try one more game without the druids, but yeah, I'm, I'm really close to getting these druids back in here. Play one more match. Our deck is so much better with land worlds than without it. Right now, really relying on it. Question is, what do you think of an Esper version of the Dreadhorde deck? Um, it's probably really good. I mean, Esper is just the best control deck right now, most likely. Esper has everything. Yeah, we'll do some. We'll be doing some metagame challenge stuff this weekend.
the Liliana was like, I've played a lot of Esper with this deck, and I've won quite a bit against Esper with this deck, but that may be the first time that I played against Esper that had Liliana with this deck, and the Liliana was just backbreaking. That card was just fantastic. So if I play the rhythm, like, usually I want to get rhythm down early, right? Because, like, it doesn't do anything late. Like, you want it before you play your other things. So usually I'd want to get rhythm down early. But if we do play rhythm and then our opponent, like, chain whirlers away the land war elf, then we may not have, like, another land to, like, actually play the phoenix. We're just getting it in play now. Yeah, I bet uh, Simic Nexus and Esper Control are the two most popular decks in the metagame challenge. That would make sense. Which previously, you know, obviously <clears throat> hasn't worked out for us today, but previously I, I like my matchup against those decks with this one here. What happened to Mono Blue? The decks that Mono Blue was good against, like Nexus and Esper, just got better and got more tools for that matchup, whether better interaction, like Esper having. The new Teferi that just really shuts down Mono Blue's ability to counter anything. Um, Nexus just gaining Blast Zone that just destroys Mono Blue. Yes, we're taking it. I want to just start attacking with these phoenixes. Next turn. <clears throat> it's likely a chain whirler. Next turn, if I could just get these growth chamber guardians in play, then I was going to start attacking with them the next turn. This is, yeah, this is our second time to draw Kiora. Our other time to draw it was against Esper, where it did get to draw some cards the first game against Esper. But they just had Liliana that just killed all my things. Lava Coils, Brontodons. That's kind of about it.
And I do like my creatures being bigger with the help of rhythm. Uh, but not going to play it still, though. Yeah, it's been so bad RNG for us. I mean, but like that game I had, turn three Phoenix, turn four Phoenix. But they had exactly what they needed to deal with Phoenix with the Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler is just very good against me. So Big Vivian is just an answer to an answer to Frenzy. But I guess I actually actually have Brontodons now, which that's something I didn't have before with Brontodons. So maybe I can cut Big Vivian now with having Brontodons actually. Yeah, if we win this, I'll be taking. I'll take out big, big Vivian. Yeah, I really like this Bolus Avatar. Definitely, it's my favorite. That was a really good draw. Very good draw. Opponent, you can do something. Go ahead. There you go. Good job. All right, getting that thing a four four, so it can like you know trade with more than a card. Um, am I attacking though? Yeah, I am. So next turn we play like 4 4 Spellbreaker plus attack for 4. And then the turn after that we play Ronus and hit for 8 Trample. Hey Felipe, thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying the streams. Well, I had a 2-2 on defense. They had a 1-2. So they they could have attacked and I block and, and they trade their Lava Runner and Firebrand. They could have done that, but they did not want to do that, obviously. Um... So I'm kind of assuming they're going to play Chain Whirler here. If they do, I couldn't have... I couldn't, like, play the 3-3 Spellbreaker and hit him for another 3 and put him down to 7 because 
Then if they play Chain Whirler, I, I can't attack in because the first strike, even though it will be a 6-3 trample, the first strike would take out the Spellbreaker. But I guess they'd have to be chump blocking the Guardian at that point, but then they could Firebrand and kill it. Like Fanatical Firebrand plus Chain Whirler it. All right, so they're going Lightning Strike Firebrand route. See if they have another spell in hand that they get to play and then then add mana with Steamkin for Chain Ruler. That would be unfortunate if they do. But I hope not. Good, doesn't look like it. Hyped for Abzan Citadel. Man, when we played that the other day, we were doing some really crazy stuff with it. We'll see how it goes today. It was like my first time playing it though, so I just played it in like the in the competitive event. I didn't play it in the ranked queues here. So it'll be my first time playing it in the ranked queues. Hmm. You know, options either double spell with these or play Vivian and start ticking up. I can do that. I think we have the ground handled. I've the wilds are my shield. I wanted a land drop. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I, I love a, a Johnny and Soren in that Citadel deck. Kind of attack you want to make? <laughs> okay, such a good kitty. Come to me. Opponent almost let us have it. So close.
They almost let us have it by attacking with that Lava Runner, too. They didn't do it. So we need them to brick. We need them to draw their fifth land. Please draw your fifth land. That didn't seem like they bricked. That was not a brick. Uh, if you think Chandra killed my opponent, you probably don't know what Chandra does. Hey. Chandra didn't do anything. Ugh. So, should have had those Vivians out of my deck. That was, we drew both of them. With having the Bronzedon in there, did not need that, like, for... You know, with, um, you know, it was like frenzy protection, basically. So that was my fault. Um, those two Vivians drawing those both late back to back when we were like close to finishing the, d the game out. They were really bad. Um, yeah, let's keep that. Well, this is a good five card hand. So I can't really ask for a better five card hand than this. We got a shot here. Yeah, J Jack, do you want me to do it right away? Nice. Do you want me to do it early in the day, late in the day? Hey, what's up, Jelly? And Raspin, also with that sub. I was a little behind there. Thank you so much, Raspin. Sub number 23 on the day. Y'all are helping out with the sub luck here. But we could be much greater. Oh, gosh. Now do you see the benefits of peace? The street urchins hit harder. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Okay. Alright, I'll play yours first. looks worse than it is. All right, uh, how do you separate variation from misplays when playtesting? I now feel sometimes I get trapped in my own head. Of peace? That's a tough one. Yeah, that can be a tough one. Um... I think I'm going to wait a turn, actually, on this Ronus. When I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left but dust. Ooh, you left me mad. It's just I've lived with animals my entire life. Let's just get that thing out of here and get, like, a, a, lot, a solid actually. attack. 
going here. If I play the Ronus, we have like just like really awkward attacks like into that 2-2 and like trying to kill a Johnny and trying to hurt them and stuff. Our attacks are pretty awkward. And with more by my side. Pell Collector does not have Trample right now. It needs it needs a third counter before it gains trample. We won't answer the other kids. And that's lethal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we set up for like just a, you know, like a basically, you know, like both creatures being lethal the next turn, both of them being like eight trample kind of thing the next turn by just wait by just being patient there. That was like as good of a five card hand as we could possibly have. That five card hand was just awesome. So what is our opponent doing? We saw Knight of Autumn, Hydroid Crisis, and a Johnny. Anyway, I guess I don't really have a great answer, sorry, to your question, Sumnown, with how do you separate vari variation from misplays when when testing. Um, really, just the, the thing to do is just to, to always look for, like, what how you can improve and, like, what you could have done differently and, and things like that. Um, and understand if there's, like, a lot of, like, variation that's happening that like you know that's something that can happen if you're trying to like test for a bigger event understand that that's those are aspects of the deck that you need to take into account how much va variation the deck has within its draws i don't know what i want to do here i understand paul yeah would have got the third counter from the from the Ronus, but it still just would not have been like that great attacks. Of like, we would have sent a whole lot at the Ajani basically, and I didn't want to send you know eight damage at the Ajani basically. I don't know if we really need to do anything. Like maybe add in more lava coils. All right, mulliganing again. Yeah, that was weird. That was just like a really low dip in the bit rate there. Oh, it's a Hero Precinct 1 deck. Okay, okay. I guess I should maybe add in the Lava Coils. into battle let's get moving no Drew is just a stream feedback thing in case people don't tell you I think you're set up with four feature decks a day and some being donated is a really great way to stream definitely something that made me want to watch and be a part of it look forward to each day great idea with that well thanks Drew Rizzle. well thank you Hey Z4, I am having a great day. I hope you are as well. Hmm. More Amaras, makes sense. I love to make a splash. Draw card. 
defense. Kiora's doing good good work for us here. No, oh, come on. All right, we're gonna need more lava coils. This is a Bant token deck. Did not seem like it was <laughs> previously, or you know, Bant hero. Definitely need to kill that thing. And then this one has life link. Let's kill that. And then that's six coming at Kiora. So if I block with growth, cham growth Chamber Guardian, we keep it alive. And then our Ill Rog will cycle. But that's not worth it. If I block with the Lanwar Elf, keep it alive. Then if we don't draw a land, then we don't get to play Ilrog. Is that even worth it? Basically, like, wanting to cycle a Llanowar Elf? Yeah. Yeah. I ebb and flow with battle. Hmm. Have them make another attack into it, at least. Man. What's going on? Come on, internet. Yeah, it seems like some people agree. That's awesome. Good. Good, good, good. I have one card left. Hopefully it's just a land. We can stabilize, take out some more of these lifelinkers. It's a March of the Multitudes or something like that. They're tapping a bunch of things. Oh, it's another Tristani. So they have another Tristani. I mean, do I block this Tristani? Probably no. That's really bad news for me. Come on, Lava Coil. Lava coil. Ugh. And stream's gotten choppy again tonight. It was doing, our stream was doing so good earlier. Now, now it's choppy again. All right, get these lava coils in. Get these Vivians out. guess. You know, Growth Chamber Guardian on two, activate it on three, get our Phoenix on four. If they have another hand like they did there with Hero going crazy, that'll be tough for us. 
I'm not concerned at all about stream sniping. It happens. Can't do anything to stop it. Don't know if there's any reason not to just... Yeah, I mean, there's not really any reason not to activate it right away. So we're kind of telling my opponent maybe I have stuff. Really hope they don't just exile this Phoenix. Gross. That's why attacking sucks. So what am I supposed to do here? Just not attack? No, I guess I'm supposed to just keep attacking, but I can just exile Phoenix again, get another chump blocker. But at least if they do that, then I'll Ravager Worm eat up this Amara. Or we'll eat up the Deputy. Favorite deck I've ever played with? I guess it would be... Uh, Probably Green White Company in Modern. It was a deck I made and just played a ton and really enjoyed it. Hey, Scario, welcome back. Thanks for resubbing again. All dem lands. Gotta take more Curl Chamber Guardians out of our deck so we can draw more lands. Gotta draw more lands. You're, you're watching it, Mercer. About to be owned four. With the deck I'm most confident in. That's great. So I think our changes to this deck have been horrible. Didn't win a single match with them. Let's get these Paradise Druids back in here. All right, get those two in. Take out the rhythms. Sorry, I want one rhythm. Take out Chandra. Get another Kiora in here. Um, take out the Brontodons. Did miss not having this other removal. Uh, what's the removal spell? Shiv and Fire. That's 61. Oh, right. Get rid of this other land. You have too many lands. Get this girl guild gate back in. Okay. 
Changing that back up. Alright, one last one. See how that works. See if this helps us out. So we don't have like that 24th land, so hopefully we don't flood out a bunch, but we also have the Paradise Druids, so we can have an earlier play that helps us with add some mana. Hopefully this helps us back out again. So taking those out, adding in the land did not work. Our game we won there, that match was our game we mold to five. Maybe we need to mold to five more. Maybe that's it. So we're back to 23 lands. That's already five out of 23 lands. There's only 18 in the 52 left. That means we're going to draw spells. Right deck. Draw spells. No more lands. Or maybe... Maybe Bolas just hates Gruul. We just can't win with using Bolas Avatar. I know when I'm playing Grixis, Gruul is like one of the matchups I'd want to face the least. There's no way my opponent plays Ritual of Set. No way. I changed the deck back to what it, what we had it before. Getting rid of some lands or getting rid of a land. Just playing the deck list we had before. I guess I'll change up this deck list command. That's what I'm doing right now. Some days are not your day. Different deck. Some days it's just not your day. Today is not Gruul's day at all. My power is bound. The dead shall serve me. <clears throat> we had six draws. We drew five lands. No, do we just have five draws? And no, we drew all lands, didn't we? Because yeah, the one growth, one extra growth chamber guardian we had, we got out with the ac activation. No, we did not draw a single spell that entire game. That's great. Drawing no spells. That's great. And take out the pup collectors. Um, play some harpooners and some more planeswalkers. Harpooners for Bolas and Thieves Andy. I think that um, I know this is 59 play first I, know I, I gotta add in the two paradise druids I 
This is a hand. And take out one of them. Okay. Deckless command is now updated correctly. Oh, I, I drew a, a pelt collector. Okay, I thought I had that. Oh, you, no, you're right. I did. Yeah, I did. I drew a pelt collector. Yeah. yeah. Um. No accord. No peace. We'll have at it, boys. So we got all these like different problematic permits over here, and we're hitting hard. Hey, Alpha. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Go. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> um. better good job Hawkeye thanks for coming up and bringing us some luck can we get a game three here make it a one four and then we'll be moving to Abzian Citadel we're doing five matches with these different decks so hoping just to make it a one four before we move on uh, we've, yeah, we've improved the stutter issues for sure. It's not like, they're not all the way gone or anything, but we've cha changed some settings in Arena that have helped. It's been a lot better since we've done, since we did that. Alright, I'll keep this. I like Chandra Fire Artisan. Yeah, that's a donation deck. So that's a deck that somebody else donate for. Usually they're decks that other people make. All right, good. We drew five drop and, and six drop. Good. Those are... Definitely cards I wanted to draw with our four lands here. Bedeck Bedazzle. Well then.
Hopefully no removal. No removal for Ilharg. I already did update the list in Stream Decker, Pakla. It's it's updated. Boo. We would have drawn a green land. I think I was probably just going to play the Ravager Worm and eat the Bolas. I don't know. Having Ilrog like, be able to put in Ravager Worm over and over is just awesome. You know, of course. I can. I am a god Please draw green again. source. Please draw green land. I will return. Please draw green land. Um... Yeah, we'll take that. Green land. Green land. Hooray! So we can just take out both of these. If. Beast. If we didn't, you know, we would have had the Spellbreaker take out this Dragon God. We were going to kill the Dragon God either way. But now we just get to get rid of that too. My revenge will be painful. Hmm. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. You fight like a city brat. Yeah, Kiora's performing well. Yeah, I've been liking Kiora in the deck. They just have moment of craving. Who did not mill me and mill my Ilharg over. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. So they got three cards left. What you got? So we've seen uh, two dragon gods, two ravagers, a thief, and a god eternals. Yeah, I've usually had luck with this deck too, but yeah, ton tonight's been rough with our deck here. Okay, so opponent choose to leave those in the graveyard. So I would like to choose... Uh, Dragon God, Dragon God. Leave those in the graveyard. Definitely hoping to draw. Ah, sun in the sky, 
shine on my skin. Great day to fight. It's definitely hoping to draw some creature that had power four or greater to be able to draw with Kiora. Not dead yet. That one's pretty small. Hmm. I guess we just play this first and just cycle it. Oh, it's not going to actually cycle off Kiora, though, is it? Because it's going to trigger afterwards. Not actually going to cycle off Kiora. Maybe they won't block. Dang, they blocked. The little old land we're off. So now they get my Elharg. Yes, obviously Kiora has been really bad this game. Hasn't done anything. I'd say it's been a lot better than Domri 4 in a lot of other games, but obviously this game it hasn't done anything. No, I don't play Simic Nexus. Ah, there's all my spells. Vivian, Phoenix. All of them. No, I, I don't plan on changing anything with the Dread Horde control. I liked that 75. I'm planning on running that again. I liked it. I think it played really well today. Yeah, we knew our opponent was going to steal our boar, but that was really tough having Vivian and Phoenix also with the boar. That was, that was a tough three cards to have there. Should activate during upkeep, so I'd keep myself from drawing that card. Guess I should have activated it on upkeep and taken that card out. Yeah, worst possible draw. I think it's worse than worse than a land even. thing about activating on upkeep is it would have taken if I would have done that then we drew Ravager Worm we would not have been able to play Ravager Worm so that would have been rough
game looked unlosable whenever we had Vivian in play. And, like our Vivian minus missed, then they exiled the Vivian. And like we drew the Kiora. But like every draw after that, we didn't draw a single thing to trigger Kiora or anything else. I didn't think we were losing that at all whenever we had the Vivian in play. And, you know, flashing in the Ilrog with our Vivian. I, di I didn't think there was a way we could lose that, but... I guess not drawing any more relevant spells, including Vivian minus whiffing. And opponent... Getting another Thief and then Bolas and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess we lost. Girl Midrange was cursed today. Certainly cursed today. Um, so yeah, Kiora looked awful there. That was the first time it's really ever looked that bad for me. But it, it was just, you know, it was, it was just a dead card in the late game. There's been a lot of times where I've been playing it and it's, you know, done a whole lot for us, but it was definitely dead there. We'll go back and try that Chandra again and just kind of go one-ups here with the Chandra, Kiora, Rhythm. All those cards, Rhythm, Kiora, and Chandra, usually the first one is, like, good that you draw. You never want to draw a second one. You know, you don't want a second Rhythm of the Wild because you don't, like, have, like, the creatures. You don't really want a second Chandra or a second Kiora either. Neither of them really... Chandra and Kiora don't really tend to leave the battlefield too much. So I think I'm going to just go with the one ofs. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say uh, about that. Uh, the, we tried some new things at the beginning of the stream, as you know. Uh, did not look good at all the first few matches. So going back to this, and we played a close one there against Grixis. Didn't go our way. Us losing to Grixis is not good. That's a match that we want to be winning. That's not ideal at all. No, I would not have been able to play it with Kiora's ability. I would not have been able to play Ravager Worm with Kiora's ability. Whoops. That last turn. Do we need more four power creatures? I mean, we have a lot of them. We have four, eight, twelve, fourteen. We have fourteen of them. And that extra mana is usually really valuable, especially with like Growth Chamber Guardian and all these expensive spells. Maybe I mean, we already have six five drops, but maybe just more Vivian Reed. This card's just always incredible. Maybe just more Vivian Reed. The other thing that Kiora does, I mean, obviously it didn't matter those games, but there's a lot of games where just the Kiora untapping your creatures and giving them vigilance is a really big deal. Like where you get to, um, where you're attacking with like your Spellbreaker or your Phoenix. And then untapping your Phoenix so it gets to be on defense or Spellbreaker or, you know, like any of those things. There's there's certainly been a lot of games that that's mattered. Because um, this is the deck that I've been playing the most off stream. Uh, this is, like, the one that it... Um, like, I didn't, even I didn't lose a match with it earlier today. I guess I played four four matches with it earlier today. Yeah, I was 4-0 off stream with this. Uh, but, yeah, here on stream, tried, tried some new things and it did not work. <laughs> All right, um, Chandra can really do a lot. Chandra's actually, I've been, been very happy with Chandra. Yeah, I've been happy with Chandra. 
All right, so that's Gruel Midrange for today. Uh, we'll, we will, you know, pick up our cards, try it again another time. And, you know, remember that we did lose a lot here. So, you know, it's definitely possible to lose a lot with the deck. But that's it. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Even though we didn't do some winning, hope you learned some stuff like I did. And... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for another video.